I've been thinking this week about the space in between the notes. You know, the bits when we're not playing, you know, because traditional musicians, we are really good at filling up all the space in a real jig, slow air, because we fill it full of ornamentation. And my goodness, I am very guilty of this. But actually, if you go in the opposite way, it's really, really interesting. All this beautiful space that surrounds you. And if you start taking out notes, it really highlights the beauty of the tune. I think it really brings lyricism to your playing when you do this, because you're actually thinking really carefully about how you're going to play the notes, rather than just playing the notes, actually, because you, you basically you start thinking about your phrasing a lot more, and the just your, actually your general room becomes far more interesting because you can do a lot more because you're just having to think about it. I was thinking about which tune to play this week to try and demonstrate this. And I remember in my Athol Highlanders vlog, the great Glasgow fiddler Claire Gullen mentioned the Dark Island tune. Uh, it's an absolutely beautiful tune. As, as Claire says, I don't know if you know anything about the, the tune, it was written by Ian McLachlan for a TV programme in 1962. It was an espionage drama and it was all this torpedo was found on a beach on Ben Bekula. And then two policemen came up to investigate it and they started finding out all these things. And they found that the locals didn't want to talk about it. And then there was, it turned out there was a murder and all these things happened. Anyway, you can't watch it anymore. It was deleted by the BBC in the 1970s, so you'll just have to believe me. Sounds really cool, though. Anyway, I'm going to play the tune a couple of times. The first time, I'm going to try and put as much space into it as possible. And on the repeat, I'm going to fill some of the space with little things that actually make the most of the space while not losing the lyricism.
So why don't you give this a go? Why don't you try taking a reel of jig or an air and playing less? Thinking about what is going on, think about your lyricism, think about how you can speak to your audiences. Give it a shot. I think you'll really enjoy it because I actually really love it because it's a really thoughtful way of playing. Good luck.